Oil and gas upstream companies look to maximize their throughput while minimizing their costs for operating wells. Prior to SEEK, most work was done in Excel, where engineers loaded decades of data and predicted when wells would deplete and need to be decommissioned or have an artificial lift introduced to extract more oil or natural gas. For a single well, this workflow was feasible, but performing it across hundreds to thousands of wells had become a tedious task that often was just not performed. With SEEK, engineers are not only able to replicate this analysis, but perform it at scale. We begin with our raw production rate tag, as well as a cleansed version of it. As is common in this industry, the sensor data is noisy, making it difficult to perform analytics. With SEEK's pre-built tools, we can smooth this production rate and remove dubious values, allowing our forecasting to be much more accurate. Even though smoothing and data cleansing can be a complex process, in SEEK, we simplify it. Here, I'll use Journal to step back in the steps of this analysis to show when we only had our raw sensor. Users can easily leverage our click and point tools, such as signal smoothing, to smooth the noise out of their sensors without needing to understand the algorithms working behind the scenes. With a cleanse tag, users can then perform a decline curve analysis to project their well production. Typically, decline profiles can be deduced based on the relationship between the well's production rate and the cumulative production. It was seen that during the early production life of this well, these two parameters followed a linear relationship, indicating an exponential decline. Towards the end of the well life, however, this relationship is beginning to drift away from the linear relationship. Here, we use our scatterplot selection tool to create a condition that captured this drift. Similar plots were made to compare other relevant parameters, and it was determined that during this decline curve change, the well followed a hyperbolic decline curve instead. Rather than basing the prediction on one decline curve, this well's production had to be characterized using two. With Seek, we were able to develop both predictions separately. We then combined them into one based on the previously made decline curve change condition. This resulted in having one final well prediction that will make it easier to monitor. This prediction is then forecasted into the future to see when this well will be depleted. Notifications can be triggered based on this condition to inform operations about when this well is likely to be depleted. As mentioned before, this analysis can be scaled to other wells. The calculations done on one well can be swapped to another with the click of a button. Now we're looking at the same analysis applied to well two. Swapping from well to well is great for investigations and in-depth reviews, but to monitor all of our wells, we created a tabular view that will give us an understanding of which wells need to be looked at first. Here, we're showing the time until depletion, but we can include other KPIs, such as the current production rate. And lastly, the beauty of this approach is that as new data comes in, Seek will automatically update these calculations. No user intervention required. Overall, by migrating our decline curve analyses to Seek, we've empowered engineers to spend their time more effectively. No longer do they need to spend weeks data wrangling and can instead focus their efforts around evaluating methods to maximize production at the lowest cost.